One dropped pill can be a danger in your home, which is why medication safety must be taken seriously. I'm Lauren Audi, and this is your Herald Health Minute brought to you by the Cape Regional Health System. Small children, especially crawlers, climbers, and the curious type, can get into dangerous situations even when supervised. It can take just seconds for a child to ingest a harmful substance. Every year, America's 55 poison control centers receive millions of calls, with more than 90% of exposures reported occurring in the home. To keep your family and friends safe, put the poison control number in your mobile phone and display it in your home in case of an emergency. Store all medications away and out of sight and out of reach of children and in their original containers. When traveling, immediately take time upon arrival to place all medications, even vitamins, out of the reach of children and make sure no loose pills have spilled into your luggage during travel. If you are hosting family and friends, do not hesitate to ask them about the storage of their medications. Personal care products, contact lens disinfectants, and hand sanitizers should also not be played with. If you have medications that are expired or you no longer need them, the FDA keeps a list of medications that are safe to flush. Otherwise, the best option for medication disposal is to contact your local police department to find out a year-round medication disposal drop box for expired or unwanted medications. Have a discussion with school-aged children to teach them not to touch any unknown substances like medications and household products, especially if attending sleepovers or spending time at a sitter's house or with relatives. Never leave a child unattended, and when in doubt, lock it up. For more Herald Health and Wellness reports, visit the CapeMayCountyHerald.com and click the Lifestyle tab. This health video has been brought to you by the Cape Regional Health System. For a healthier life, call 463-CAPE.